We are Jacob and Anna White. We are carpenters from Alaska. We've helped millions of people build their own furniture through our plans and website. But now, we are going beyond that. We are going to show you how to build yourself a house, tiny style. In this video series, we'll show you step by step how to go from a trailer to a beautiful finished home. Make sure you subscribe and follow along. So this is the inside of the tiny house. Come on in. This is where all the noise has been coming from. So what are you working on? Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, I'm just trying to get the rest of this electrical roughed in. And get ready for spray foam on. Hey, guys. This week, we're going to show you the electrical that we did for our tiny house. Um, so we started by just sitting down uh, together and drawing out kind of the floor plan of the tiny house that we have. This is the upper floor, then this is the loft area. Um, this is the kitchen, the end door, the window, the side door, the front window, and then the bedroom kind of areas in here. And basically what we decided to do was um, figure out wherever we wanted lights first. So I placed lights, there's another window here, sorry. I knew I was missing a window. I decided to place my lights over the windows because it wouldn't be consuming wall space. Um, if I put the window, the lights like beside the window, then I couldn't put hooks or shelves there. But over the window is a pretty safe place. In the bedroom, um, I wanted to put a light above the bed. And then in the kitchen, we have like a hanging track light thing that will go like this and have lights coming off of it down there. Um, and then upstairs, we decided to have windows on the view sides and then we'll keep one light up there. Well, oh, we did some exterior lights. Okay, and then after we got the lights in, then we're like, where do we want the power outlets at? I think most importantly is uh, this tiny house is basically your own miniature house. So it's almost custom to what you do. So you have to put uh, outlets and lights and switches and things might not be typical to a house when an uh, electrician comes in and rough things in. So you kind of have to go ahead and figure out where all your, your uh, outlets are going to be. And being that this is the kitchen, you know, obviously we put one um, right here, we put one there, we put one here with a switch on it. Um, I put one then, here for our computers. And then we, then we yeah. found along the way up the wall space, we figured, well, we're going to need a possible uh, fridge. couple yeah. of fridge here, maybe, we were thinking. And then uh, in the bedroom, we put one here. Upstairs, we put one in the loft. You need receptacles where they're the most accessible and usable spots in a tiny house. Um, but also there might be a spot that is like a weird cubby hole that you want to charge your phone or your computer's gonna go, so you need to put one there. So there's like things to think about when you're building a tiny house. You might want an extra, recep extra receptacle someplace. Just, and it's super easy to do, so. Knowing where to rough it in is the easy part. So then once you figure out where you want all your lights and your receptacles to go, now you need to figure out um, how you want your lighting to be turned on and off. And so this is your switch placement for your, your box placement for your switches. So like for this light instance, you might come in this door and there might be a switch here. Um, there might be a single switch, a double switch, or a th three switches. So it depends on if you want one, two, or three. In this one, I think we did a double switch over here, which is a switch, and we did a one that goes out to the outside lights, and then this other switch turns on the light over the window. So you gotta come along, you gotta put single switches in. This is a switch and receptacle, so we did a single switch with a receptacle built into the same box. Over here, we put a switch uh, for this light over the bed. And then upstairs in the loft, we did something uh, its pretty common to do. It's called a three-way switch. So we put a switch up here and a switch up down here, uh, downstairs. So say you want the kids to go to bed at night, you have the ability to turn the light off. Or they might forget to, so you don't have to climb all the way upstairs to turn the light off. So there's a switch and it, it turns this light on right here. It's called a three-way. Okay, so one thing I would encourage you if you're doing a tiny house is to you know, think beyond a traditional house and how you would have your electrical plan and really customize your electrical plan in a tiny house because you don't want cords running everywhere. So think about every little section of your tiny house and what you'll be doing in that space 
and what your power needs are. So we have, you know, we have an outlet specifically for the coffee maker. We have an outlet that's specifically put in if we ever want to put a fridge in. We have an outlet under here so that we can plug in laptops if we want to. So really think through how are you going to use your tiny house and then design your electrical plan around you. So once we got the rough in plan made for the uh, electrical, then basically it's just time to go in and rough it in. So I like to go in and put all my boxes on first, um, and you can set the heights of your boxes, whatever you like. Um, and then after that, then go ahead, and I like to chalk a line down the wall, and what that does is it gives me an idea, a rough idea of where I want to drill my holes through the studs. And that just allows me to run the wire down consistently at one height through the wall. You roughing in your wire is pretty simple. Then you need to staple everything off and it's got to be stapled so far from the box and, and the, the wire's got to be nice and you know, tight all the way through. Then make sure you put on your nail plates so that later on when you're hanging a picture or trying to hang some shelves on the wall that you don't drill into your electrical wiring. Yep, once all your utilities are buried and your electrical and all your other stuff that can be, it needs to be buried in the wall, then it's time for spray foam. For our spray foam, uh, we actually hired it out. We don't have the equipment to do spray foaming and we have, we have a really good resource here locally that does a really good job. Um, and it's really toxic. So we just kind of walked away from the project and let him spray foam all of the walls. He did a really good job. You'll notice that the entire, spray, the entire cavity between the studs <coughs> is spray foamed uh, for maximum insulation. So, you know, when you go to have something spray foam to make sure that you're, you know, they're doing a good job. But real quick, we also wanted to take a quick second to show you how to install a light fixture because that is the last part of the electrical. Just doing basic trim out. So when you get all your electrical roughed in, it's just uh, putting your lights in. It's pretty straightforward. You just have a plate that's attached to your box. It's right here. You're going to attach that. And then these two screws right here, which are going to hold your light in place, they come through here and there's these two little set screws. And they go on to finish it out. So basically you want to make your wires up and then go ahead and stuff them back in here. Now we got to worry about these these little screws here. So they are adjustable where you fit them out just past the uh, here. Just bring it out just a little more. Boom. And we got these little set nuts. How many guys does it take to screw a light bulb? That's it. Well, thanks so much for following us to this point. We're really excited about what's coming up, and we hope you stay tuned. Please do subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes. Yeah, so watch uh, next Friday and see what's coming for a new video. It's going to be fun. We'll see you then.